If you clicked on this, you probably have some sense of nostalgia for the old tutorial worlds. I mean, these things were a staple of console Minecraft. Well, you're in luck, because I just found a way to access the tutorial world in modern day Java Minecraft, and I'll go through how to get it here with you. All right, the first requirement for having this is having Minecraft. Obviously, you need to have Minecraft to be able to do this. This method is for Java only, but I put a link to a video in the description that'll show you how to get it on Bedrock. The first step you're going to need to do is download the Fabric Launcher. If you look up Fabric on Google and you click on this right here, it'll take you to the Fabric Loader. If you're playing on Windows, Windows, you can click download here and you can hit download for Windows. This will give you a installation right here. If you click on this, it will pop up this screen here and select whatever modern version you're on. For me, I'm going to select 1.21 because all the mods you're going to need to download are going to be on 1.21. So if you do that and you click install, you're going to have fabric installed on your computer. And then there are two mods you're going to need to bare bones get this. So I usually go on ModRinth to download my mods. Don't trust every single mod that's out there. Okay, I think that goes without saying it's the internet. You can't trust everything. But the two mods you're going to need to be able to run legacy console on Java is the Fabric API, which is the most downloaded mod. And you're going to need a mod called Legacy 4J. I'll get to that in a second. First of all, you go to versions. And since we're doing this on Fabric, you can do this on Quilt or you can do this on Forge. And there's other ways you can do that. I'm showing how to do it on Fabric today because that's what I know best. You can click on game versions. And since I'm doing it on 1.21, I click that. And you see right here, we have Fabric API for 1.21 as the game version. You click download here. Then you You'll have it on your computer and it'll show up in your downloads on your folder. Then you can go and look up Legacy 4J, 164,000 downloads. It's available for Fabric. So you go here to versions, game versions 1.21, and it will be this one right here. So if you click down on that, I already have it. Then you'll have them both in your downloads folder. So what you'll do from there is you will go ahead and take them from your downloads folder and then drop them onto the main desktop screen here. You go into your Minecraft job. Java edition. If you click on installations, there should be fabric loader right here for 1.21. I already have it installed, so it's right here already. You click on this folder icon right here, which will bring up this menu. You scroll down to where it says mods here on this folder, double click on that, and it should be empty unless you've already been using mods. Then you pretty much know how to do this. Yep. You're going to want to go ahead and drop your mods into the slot. And then now once you're there, you can go ahead and close it out, go out into the fabric loader and then hit the play button. Then it should open up the game into legacy 4j edition which is it's going to be a little bit different than the loading screen so you'll see that in a second here with the 4j studios yep it's going to be nice old console edition so from here you're going to hit play game you click on create and then play tutorial here once you do that then it'll launch you in to a brand new tutorial world here in minecraft you're going to be here in the tutorial world you can go and play around if you want in the console edition of the game there's resource packs to like select the different older textures because I think these are the current textures. Yeah, those are new diamond block textures. You go into graphics and you can select this one here for PS4 edition and select this one for programmer graphics. And then if you close out of that, it will send you back to 2014 graphics. If you want to make it look even more like old Minecraft, you can go into settings graphics here. You can turn up your gamma. To like 90 this just makes it look even more like old xbox 360 or ps3 edition and now since you've done all of this you now have a tutorial world in your minecraft world slot so if you go ahead and exit the game you could just close out of minecraft go back into your minecraft launcher go back to your installations and you could go ahead and remove these two mods and if you go and play it again, you'll be back into normal Minecraft Java edition with that tutorial world right here. So now if I go back, I'm going to be in normal Java edition with all of normal Java edition physics and all that. You can, you know, make my FOV back to where it normally is, and then you can go explore around like it's Java edition. You know how it is. So that is how you get the world in Java edition. You can play around, you can explore, you can relive your childhood, you can do all the normal things. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube recommends that you'll probably also enjoy this video. Thank you all for watching and I hope this helped. See you guys in the next one. Peace.